Welcome back. This was intended to be a short video on how to import EasyNEC data into SimSmith. I've mentioned how to do this a couple times in the past, but I keep getting questions asking how to do it or why the way I said to do it doesn't work. So I thought maybe the different EasyNEC versions had something to do with it. And I thought before I did the video, I would at least update my version 5 and version 6 of EasyNEC to the latest updates. So I went to the EasyNEC uh, website and this popped up. EasyNEC is no longer going to be sold as of the end of 2021. It's going to be free. Roy Wallen, who is the sole proprietor of the EasyNEC company, has decided to get out of business. He mentions the reason. He's 76 years old. He wants to do some other things in life. And he's been doing this for a long time. He's got 13,000 customers, he mentions in here. And instead of charging for it, it's going to be free. And this version that he's making free is going to be the top level version of EasyNEC, with the exception of the version that reuses the um, NEC 4 engine that you have to license from Lawrence Livermore, Livermore. And that's this version right here, and it will be discontinued. Apparently, it's a big hassle to you have to buy the license, and he, and he has to know you have it before he can give you the code, etc. But the EasyNEC Pro 2, which supports 45,000 segments, will be available for free. So that's kind of a big deal. So if that changes your opinion as to whether or not EasyNEC is a better program to use than some of the competitors, such as 4NEC2 or maybe MANA, uh, maybe it's something to consider. But nevertheless, let me continue on with the video here and I'll explain um, what I believe is the discrepancy between why some people can't load EasyNEC data into SimSmith. So here I have an EasyNEC 5. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this with both EasyNEC 5 and, and EasyNEC 6. EasyNEC 5 has a antenna, it's a dipole, 40 feet off the ground. It's just two, it's two wires, 41 segments each. And when you build this antenna, EasyNEC does not calculate any feed point impedance data for it at the time. You have to do a scan. So if I say no, and EasyNEC kind of likes to, I'm doing this on a PC with three monitors, so sometimes some programs are not very good at popping the pop-ups uh, windows in the, on the right monitor. But if we run this, and again, it popped it up on the wrong monitor, bring it over, and just wait a few seconds. And there's the SWR plot, or the impedance plot, versus the frequency range that I had set. Now, EasyNEC does not give me a choice to save this data anywhere. It automatically saves it, and this is true of both version 5 and version 6. It saves it into a file called LASTZ, L-A-S-T-Z, as in Zulu, dot text. Now, it saves it in different places, and it saved it on my PC a couple of different places over time with, with how Windows works. EasyNEC 5 came and originally installed itself in a folder inside of program files, I believe just program files in the early days, and then program files x86 later. Now, uh, with version 6, it's still program files x86. You can change where you put it, but it writes data into that, tries to write data into that folder. Windows does not like any program writing data into the program files folder, so it virtualizes it. It puts it in apps data roaming or apps data local or something like that. But if we take us and do a search for the PC, and I use a program that's free called Ultra Search. It's kind of a cute little app. I've been using it for years. The free version is totally competent. You just you can pick anything you want to. You can put anything you want in here. But right now I'm just going to look. At, I'm looking at my whole C drive. It's a two terabytes solid state disk, and I'm going to search for this file name, lastz.txt. It's that fast to do the search the whole machine. Um, the first one is sa that's saved here, you can see was, tr was attempted to be written into program files x86, but they've moved it away. And the second one, which was, which was written by EasyNEC 6 a couple days ago when I found out this, pro this, this new news, um, is there. These files get written always with the same name, and they always get written in the same location on your machine until Windows maybe changes it sometime in the future. But this is where my cur where it currently version 5 currently exists, and this is where version 6 currently exists. This file can be drugged directly into SimSmith at any time. Let me bring up a version of SimSmith here. Okay, there's SimSmith. I can just take this file, either one of these, and just drag it over to here, and there's the data. And notice how it looks very much like this data. 
So the problem is keeping track of this, this file. Now this file will get overwritten every time you do another SWR run. So it's foolish if you try to use this file and load it into SimSmith. You should take this file, rename it, copy it somewhere else, and then load it into SimSmith is fine. And then SimSmith will be good when, after you run another SWR plot. And that's true of versions in EasyNet 5 and EasyNet 6. They're just located in different locations. So sometimes I use version 6, sometimes I use version 5, and I haven't been very consistent in how I've des described this. People may also find that it's not in this location. If you were to choose, my, my version of EasyNet 6 was loaded into Program Files x86 slash EasyNet 6, it was named. This one is Program Files x86 slash EZW, which was the default that, that uh, EasyNet was trying to use. I didn't want to put this one in the same folder. This one then put the, put the documents here. So apparently he has something done in version 6 that moves it, the data elsewhere. I don't know. But nevertheless, search for lastz.txt, find it, and that's the file you need to use. Hopefully this clears it up. If anyone asks me this question again, I'm going to point them to the video first, and hopefully that'll, that'll satisfy you. Yeah the problems. It's amazing though, over time, this, this location has changed on, at least on my PC a couple times. There'll be more videos, but I thought I'd get this out of the way real quickly.